Hey guys, it's April. Welcome back to my channel, House to Home. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make two quick and easy signs using Dollar Tree supplies. There is a fall version and a Halloween version, and you can make both of them for around $2.50. So today we're just going to be going over how to make the Halloween one, but you'll get the idea and you can create the fall one if you would prefer. So if you're interested in seeing how I make these signs, then please keep on watching. So the first thing you'll need is one of these signs from the Dollar Tree. They have so many different versions of them. Uh, this one had a black frame and a little piece of wood with a circle on it. So I just pried all that off of there and removed the cardboard backing from the frame. Once you do that, you will then trace your piece of cardboard onto any type of stock paper that you would like. I'm going with this little black and white skeleton, but um, you can pick anything you would like uh, that would go with this Halloween uh, project. Once I you know, make sure that it all fits on correctly, I will then hot glue it down, starting with each corner and slowly going around and pushing it down to the cardboard to make sure it's nice and smooth. You are more than welcome to use Mod Podge, but I find when I do that sometimes I get some bubbles, so I just like to use the hot glue and it seems to work out just as well. Next, you will glue the cardboard with the scrapbook paper onto the back of your frame. It might be a little hard to wedge it back in there, but uh, after you push down on it enough, it'll go in. So start adding your hot glue and just push it on down to the back of the frame. You'll see I'm actually using the back of my scissors to kind of push it down in there. Do whatever you gotta do to get it to work. Next, I'll be taking these three little pumpkin clips that I also picked up at the Dollar Tree. You're going to be using one of them for now, so you'll just remove the stem um, from the middle of it. If you twist it and keep uh, turning it back and forth, it should come loose and pop right out. I'm then using this really large knife to cut it right down the middle to give me two pumpkin halves. Now you're going to take that little stem that you initially pulled out and you are going to stick it back into one of the halves of the pumpkins and make sure you add some hot glue to make it stick. And then to have a stem on the other one, you have to remove one from one of your other pumpkin clips. And also do the same and just hot glue it onto the back. And I was using my scissors here to kind of cut like a little indent in because it wasn't uh, completely split down the middle even. Add your hot glue and you have your two little pumpkin halves. Next, you will just take a black Sharpie and kind of just freehand a little jack-o'-lantern face on here. Um, if you're not that good at drawing, um, you can, you know, cut out little stickers um, for like a jack-o'-lantern or you can paint them, you can do whatever you like, but I find it the easiest to just draw them on with a Sharpie. It, it doesn't have to be anything special, just like a little zigzag mouth and some little triangles for an eyes and a nose. So there, now we have our two little jack-o'-lantern faces, and now all that's left to do is just to hot glue them on there. I'm going to do them kind of at like a zigzag pattern, put one up in the right hand corner and the one down the bottom left hand corner. You're welcome to put them both side by side and then maybe put some wording um, on the top, uh, but I just want to keep it simple and just have the little 3D effect with the two faces. So that's it. That's our little jack-o'-lantern uh, shadow box picture. To make the fall one, you just buy um, a pack of the orange pumpkin clips and do the same thing, cut them in half. And it'd be a little easier because you don't even have to put a face on them. And for that one, I just took some jute twine and glued it around the edge just to give it a little more, you know, something stylized. 
but you can customize these and do whatever you would like. And uh, thanks so much for watching. If you are new here, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a like if you would like to see more Halloween and fall DIYs. Thanks for watching. See you next time.